What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest extended UI version 1.0 and this is official build as you can see. The Android version is 10 of course and here the security patch is of December 5th 2019 not quite 2020 and here the stock kernel is Pixel Dynasty Plus kernel and the build date is 9th January 2020 build. Let me go back. And I have flashed this ROM with the Orange Fox Recovery, the version 10 stable build. And I am currently on the version 993 firmware, the MIUI version 993 firmware. And with that firmware, I could flash it. I did not need to flash the latest firmware here. And I haven't put my SIM card and stuff yet, but the ROM feels pretty good. Let me disable the dark theme and show you the like stock launcher here. The stock launcher seems like a pixel launcher. Let me show you. As you can see, this is a pixel launcher and you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the quick settings panel and to the left we get the google now cards and you can swipe up for the app drawer and stuff you can disable the suggestions of course from the settings now let me go into the settings and again i have flashed this rom with the fcrypt disabler of course because i am decrypted here so if your storage is decrypted make sure to flash this rom with the fcrypt disabler and you don't need any g apps because the g apps is included in the rom file itself and this is how the settings panel looks like with a big logo of settings up top and here we have a configuration center then the battery then display and normal stuff in the system let me show you you do not get any system updater but you can definitely flash anytime like whenever a new update comes this is an initial build of course in the gestures we get the system navigation as like gesture navigation and you also get the two button and three button navigation you can also change the settings if you need to let me go back the android 10 gestures are working fine here as you can see and let me go back in the configuration center here the icons and stuff are present like bluetooth headset etc icons they appear fine and in the navigation bar you can invert the layout if you are using a two button or three button navigation and we also have the double tap to sleep on the status bar and the lock screen as well and this works flawlessly and talking about the fingerprint scanner speed here is the fingerprint scanner speed pretty fast as you can see it's like too fast i would say when compared to other roms here as you can see again it unlocked fine no issues with the fingerprint scanner that i could find and here in the like bottom you will get the fingerprint authentication vibration and stuff but let me remind you that there is no like always unlock with fingerprint scanner and the customizations are not too much here and we have a ui tuner here it says replace clear all button on the notification panel and stuff you can use it if you want to this is still in beta in the battery charging light you can enable the battery charging light and stuff and 18 watt fast charging over here does work and even the like notification led does appear whenever you get a notification or you are charging we have some dashboard suggestions and ambient light option is there so this ambient display notification kind of thing works flawlessly here it should work pretty fine and edge lighting option is there and you can change the colors of this thing so there are a lot of customizations of this ambient light notification and there is height smart replies and stuff then timeout option is there this is for the notifications i guess and snooze timing option is there so that is all for the customizations then we get the battery settings and here you can enable the battery percentage and i would say you can get seven to like seven and a half hours of screen on time pretty much so it gets you about full day of usage no issues with that with this like rom's battery life pretty stock android so that's not a problem in the display settings on top we get the dark theme and this dark theme works flawlessly you don't need to worry and if you want to change accent colors and stuff you need to go into styles and wallpapers then go to customize and then hit just click on next then from here you can choose any accent color you want and create a theme like this so this is great let me go back you can also change the fonts and stuff of course and brightness level adaptive or auto brightness is there in the like night light you can make the display yellowish if you are like using the device at night let me go back and we have the screen timeout and in the rotation and stuff it shows like which options are available so that's great and font size display size and in the lock screen display we have a new notification and stuff for the ambient notifications and double tap to wake of course is there and it works let me show you as you can see the double tap to wake does work super fine and one more thing which looks quite cool here i would say is this like kind of settings as you can see whenever you press the volume button you will see it has the miui 11 kind of look on the 
volume panel but when you click on expand it appears like this and you can put the phone into vibrant or silent or like the normal general mode from here now talking about the sound settings here if you go advanced this is how the sound setting looks like and i would say yeah there is no me audio direct as of right now but you can disable the touch vibration and stuff and the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is pretty fine here and the ear blaster does work i have tested it with the rgb remote app it does work now let me quickly open some of the apps and show you guys the app open up speeds and the ram management here let's open facebook twitter play store youtube now instagram the app open up seems pretty fluid and as you can see it opens all the apps pretty fast no issues whatsoever with the ram management and something all the app stays in memory and the app open up animations are like pretty fine too as you can see and you can switch between apps just like this so not a problem with the ram management here and in the quick setting panel as well there is the heads up disabling option night side dark theme etc options and you can add bunch of more toggles if you want to we also have the screen record options and stuff and it looks kind of contrasty on the quick settings panel i would say now talking about the missing features well of course we do not get any advanced reboot and stuff it just directly restarts so yeah those features are still kind of missing but this is just an initial build they will be appearing like later i guess and one more good thing is here that like these live wallpapers you get by default as you can see these ones are present the pikachu one is present too like the pokemon ones and you can like download any of these live wallpapers and this should work fine so the pixel 4 live wallpapers if you love those yes they are present but yeah if you like apply these wallpapers it the ui becomes a little bit slower or sluggish at times so keep that in mind now talking about the stock camera well it will disappoint you for sure because it comes with this snapdragon kind of stock camera pretty old or like old google camera kind of thing and it should work fine but this is not a good camera i would say so if you want to flash anx camera you can do that or if you want to install google camera you can do that too the google camera 7 should be working fine here otherwise the rom feels pretty fine this was just a quick overview and google pay and stuff should be working fine if not just use magic hide i would say and the DRM info and stuff shows as level 1 here so that's not a problem and this recorder app is also present by default here and it transcripts the audio pretty fine so you don't need to worry about this and this pixel 4 feature is really interesting on this device so that was a quick overview for this extended ui on the redmi note 7 pro it was available for the redmi k20 pro 2 if you want to see the redmi k20 pro's extended ui video i'll link it on the card right here so thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one Bye bye now